For this video, I wanted to show you how to configure advanced shipping settings using the Table Rate Shipping plugin. Just so you are aware, I do have the developer license for each of these plugins to allow my students to utilize them. Right now, we already have the plugin installed. I do have shipping classes brought up along with shipping zones, which is part of the Table Rate plugin. Table Rate Shipping is an advanced plugin that allows you to dynamically calculate shipping costs in your store. For this example, we're going to use a wholesale shipping method where we calculate a flat rate price for one item, then include discounted rates for multiple quantities of the same item. Let me explain. So first we're going to charge $5 for the first item. And then for every additional item from two till five, we're gonna charge an additional $2. And then for any items over five with the quantity, we're gonna charge $1 for each additional item. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new shipping class that says Polo T-shirts wholesale rated. We'll go ahead and we'll add this shipping class. And then we will add our shipping class to our product really quick. So to do this, we'll go down to shipping and we'll add polo t-shirts wholesale rated. We will update this really quick. And then we're gonna go to shipping zones, which actually can be found in WooCommerce, shipping zones. And once we have shipping zones pulled up, we're gonna name this zone wholesale rated US. And then these will be for United States shipments only. We'll go ahead and we'll add this shipping zone. Let's click the shipping zone right now. And then we're gonna click table rates, add to zone. And then let's go ahead and edit this. And we will need, rename this wholesale rate domestic. We'll go ahead and we'll make this non-taxable. Now, as I stated before, we're going to configure this so that we have a flat rate of $5 for the first item, $2 for each additional item from 2 to 5, and $1 for each item over 5. So let's get started. Our calculation type is going to be calculated rates per line item. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our first class right here, Polo T-shirts Wholesale Rated. The condition we're going to base this upon is item count, and then we're going to make this one to one, and then we're going to make the item cost five. So that means it's five dollars for the first item. Now let's calculate the items from two till five. So right now we're going to go to item count, same as before. The minimum is going to be two up until five. Now for a row cost, we're actually going to deduct two off of here because let's say if someone orders two items and we left a row cost of five and we entered two dollars into here, it would charge five dollars times two, which would equal nine. We don't want that though. If we charge the row cost as three dollars and then we plus two dollars, that will give us the initial five dollars and then anything over that will be calculated based on the two dollar rate up till five. Finally we're going to add our last class from six until pretty much infinity. So we'll go item count six and we'll put a thousand in here. Now row cost. We're actually going to bump this up till four and then use one for each additional item. I'll explain in a second. Let's go ahead and save this shipping method. We'll go back to our cart, and if we change the quantity to one and click update our cart, we should see $5 as seen here. Now, if we change it to two, it should be $5 for the original item plus $2. Let's go ahead and update our cart. And as we see here, it's $7. Keep in mind, remember we deducted the $2 from the row cost? This is because the first item is charged $5 and then $2 above that. Now if we bump this to six and hit update cart, we should see $10. This is because we have $4 for the first item and then $1 for each additional item above that. As you can see, this can be a little bit confusing at first. It might help if you use a Google Docs spreadsheet or you write these down on paper before you actually set them up. 
This will help you through the process when setting up your shipping rates. Likewise, if we had multiple products in our store that were calculated nearly the same way, we well, would change this calculation type to per order. That way it would calculate based on other options as well as the rates defined here. Another trick of the trade is to group your products by similar shipping classes. That way it'll also be easier to set up all of your shipping options during this process. For more e-commerce resources, including guides, tutorials, and walkthroughs, visit actionecommerce.com. That's actionecommerce.com.